Hello YouTube, this is Flo and today I will give you a tutorial for a really compact and easy to build 6x speed shaker box unloader. So here we put in the shaker boxes and here we have 6 hoppers and the items will be, will be distributed over the hoppers. And this works with up to 8 hoppers, so you can distribute the items over 8 hoppers or of course over less hoppers over 2, 3, 4 or whatever you need. And the application for this is that I'm working on my mangrove farm and I have 3 dispensers firing bone meal using an observer clock. And in this case these dispensers will work at double hopper speed, so they will use 18,000 bone meal per hour. We could do this like so, have bone meal come in here and here, but we could also use, and this is what we'll actually do, we can use a dropper that points upwards. Of course, nowadays we have the option to unload shulker boxes all at once by destroying the shulker box. Let's put in a few items in this chest. This is an Elmango setup. I use this for example for my auto crafter to craft up iron ingots to iron blocks or ice to pack dice. Shulker boxes are dispensed, are immediately destroyed by pushing them into the lava, but the items will all fall through, so we don't lose any items. Now the thing about shaker box unloaders is, they need to deliver your items at the correct speed. If they are too slow, then they can't keep up and your farm won't work at the maximum efficiency. If they are too fast and you put the items in water streams or on the ground, the items could despawn. So our instant shaker box unloader might not be the best option, if we are not sure that we can handle 27 stacks of the items that we want. And this is where this shaker box unloader comes in really handy. The design of this shaker box unloader is from Summers the Sage. Here, this is the original design, and this works just with two hoppers. One hopper for the sh empty shaker boxes, and one hopper for the items. And some people say that you need glass here to prevent shaker boxes flying out. If the shaker boxes end up not in this chest here, but somewhere else, you might want to use this glass here. And you can basically replace the hopper that sucks out the items with a minecart. A hopper will transfer items every 0.4 seconds, or in other words, 2.5 items per second, while a minecart can handle 20 items per second. So a minecart runs at 8 times hopper speed. So in this case we want 6 times hopper speed, so we suck out the items using one minecart at 8 times hopper speed and distribute the items over the 6 hoppers that we want. This is a really nice shaker box unloader, because it can handle empty shaker boxes, so you can put in empty boxes or boxes that contain something. Both will be handled. And if everything works correctly, both empty shaker boxes should end up here in this chest. Now, of course, these shaker boxes were almost empty. So let's put in a few shaker boxes containing bone meal. And note that at first it will unload the items only to four hoppers. We have two minecarts here below, and at first one minecart will suck out all of the items. But we get items in at eight times hopper speed. Only four hoppers suck them out, so eventually the minecart will be full. So after about 40 seconds you will see items coming out of all hoppers. Now let's see how we build this. So let's first get an idea how we do this layout. We want 8 hoppers in a 2x3 array like so. So we put droppers under the dispensers facing up. They work at the same speed as dispensers. And then we can just have droppers going this way. So these droppers will move the items there. Without tools you would, you would do this. But with accurate placement you can just use this. And now we have the space to add two hoppers for each dropper, like so. We have this 2x3 area. And of course we need an idea how to power those. And what we can just use is observers. So here in the middle we can just use one observer. This will strongly power this dropper in the middle and also these two. So we will have another observer and this observer will again power the dropper below here. And this will also power this dispenser and both droppers here on the side. So all we need is more observers like so. Now we want to avoid redstone if possible and I will use glass so it's easier to see what's going on. But also if you need to use redstone, redstone and glass creates less lag than just redstone. Now we need to power the whole thing and we could for example put a solid block here and have one observer looking out of the solid block and have another observer going in. This is not yet full observer clock speed because we need to pull this out once. Now we have full obs observer clock speed so we need to put the minecarts in a way 
that the minecarts can distribute the items over all of these hoppers. Now let's first show you how to use eight hoppers, which is a bit simpler. So let's say we would have another dropper. Now you need any block that doesn't have a full hitbox, so you could for example use honey. You could also use grindstones, walls of any type, or you could use iron bars or something like that. Let's use for now the walls that we somehow found in the inventory. And now we distribute the minecarts, and this is actually really easy. So we just need any type of rails here, just temporary. Put in the minecarts here, go in the middle there and push them out of the way. So they should go a little bit to the outside. Now each of these minecarts will be over two hoppers. So you can verify that if you put something in here, then you will see that two items go out at the same time. But now we need to push them over so that they are over four hoppers. So you just break the rails and then you just push them here in the corner, like so. And then you can just go in the middle, make sure that they are on the outside, make sure they don't fall out. You can verify this. Now we should have four items going out at the same time. Yeah, beautiful. So this would be the case for eight times, which is actually really easy. Now six times is just a bit more complicated. So what you could do is basically use the same setup and have the minecart be a bit over air in this case. But the drawback is that we must make sure that the player doesn't touch the minecart. Right now, a player that walks here could hit the minecart and change the position, and that's not good. So I will show you how to distribute it over six hoppers. So again, we use a rail and we put in the minecart here, and then we push it just a bit on the side so that it goes to one direction. We put in the minecart on the other side. And again, now each of them would distribute over two hoppers, both over the middle hopper. Now make sure that you focus the rail here, break it. And now this part is just a little bit tricky. We need to rotate the minecarts, like so. So, and now just push them in and go between the two to push them to the outside. And now you carefully break the walls here, or the honey blocks, or the grindstones, or whatever you used. And if the minecarts stay in the position, then we have struck gold. Now they will all be over four hoppers, like so. Yeah, this works, this works. And now we just put glass on these minecarts. We built the glass one layer higher, and then we use non-sticky pistons, normal pistons, to push down the glass. Now you can just use a redstone block here. This will push down like four of these pistons, and quasi-connectivity will power the other ones. So now these are fixated, and even if the player walks here, nothing bad happens. So we can't really change the position of this minecart. And now all we need to do is have a minecart put on here. Now it's important that we use the right kind of rail. We need an activator rail. And then you put another minecart on there. And this time we can't put glass on it because you can't push glass in a minecart that's standing on a rail. So what we now created was basically this part here. And the rest is routine. We have this hopper here that goes into a chest, but this has to be on this side where no minecarts is, because if this hopper was on this side, the minecarts would suck in the shulker boxes. So what we need to do is here have our output for the shulker boxes. And now we just build the rest of the shulker box underwater. If you do this, for example, to do a tree farm, you might need a bit of space here. So what we can do is to make this hot dropper chain a bit longer. So you can create the space that you need. So what we have here is the observer and the observer has to face this way. So it has to look at this block here and we will have a block here. And whenever this observer fires, it will lock the activator rail. And this means the minecart cannot suck out items. And this will be used when we break the shulker box because we want the shulker boxes to end in here in this chest and not in the minecart. We just build the shulker box unloader just as we would summon the sages. So we have here a piston that breaks the shulker box. We have an observer facing upwards. We have an observer facing this way. We have a hopper feeding the shulker boxes. We need a dispenser facing downwards that can dispense the shulker boxes. Now we need a redstone comparator on this hopper here. And this goes into a block. And then we have another comparator which reaches this dispenser through this block here. 
Now then we have a dropper and it really doesn't matter in which direction it goes, it just has to be powered and unpowered. We have an observer looking at this dropper, we have a sticky piston and we need a redstone block. We just need another sticky piston facing downwards here and that's the Schleicher box unloader constructed. Let's put in some bone meal and the system starts running and now at first all these hoppers should transfer items. So now we see at first these droppers filling up. And now if we activate this clock here that powers all of our droppers, we should see the bone meal appear in all three dispensers. Now let me show you how you position the minecarts for the other use cases. So for example, if you want four times hopper speed, you would have your four hoppers and just place a rail anywhere here then use your wall or whatever, place the minecart there, break the rail and push it into the corner and verify that it will suck out four items at once. If you want three or two, that's even easier. Put a rail in the middle in this direction, use your wall here on the side, put a minecart in here, push it to the side and a second minecart and that's already it. So in this case you don't need the second level, you can have these two minecarts directly in the spot and the rail going in here. And of course with two, just place your rail here and push the minecart over and always verify that it sucks out the item at the expected speed. Quick tutorial, I hope it was helpful. Leave a like if you want to see more content like this and see you next time. Bye bye!